Hi guys, welcome to today's reading on what difficulty will soon end for you. So we have four groups. For group one, calcopyrite and ambush fear with your ferocious dream. Group two, labradorite. And what does your soul say? For group three, shungite. And the sacred flow of yes. And for group three, we have Septarian and Manifesting and Doing is the card. So go ahead and select your pile using your intuition. I will see you in your reading. Okay, hi, group one. Uh, those of you who picked this Calco Pyrite, this is your reading on what difficulty will soon end for you. Okay, so, um, interestingly, we have rest, root chakra, divine masculine in reverse, princess of cups, eight of cups. Um, we have this evil eye of envy. Well, that's how I'm interpreting it right now. The Seven of Swords and Gossip in Reverse. So I'm getting like the difficulty that you've been having. Um, I'm just looking at the, pa the Princess of Cups here, which is the Page of Cups. Um, so this is someone who has, especially with the root chakra here, I'm getting that like this feeling of being... Um, you know, with the page, they could be very sensitive, overly emotional, quote unquote, right? Um, too emotional. Um, it, with the root chakra in reverse, I'm, I'm feeling that this is like something that's kind of destabilized you. Um, generally with other people, I feel like there's been some situation where there's people uh, gossiping about you behind your back, people talking about you behind your back. Here we have gossip thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. So, you know, yeah, like people talking behind your back, um, people lying to you, people being deceptive towards you, having a sense that there's something missing or there's something not right um, about a situation um, with people. Um, and, it, and it really taking its toll on you. Here we have rest. And, you know, with this sign, it's like, um, it reminds me of these commercials from back in the day, um, just information. So there's just a lot of information um, that's out there that I feel like is swarming around that has um, caused you to take things to heart, to take things very seriously um, and, and really disturbed you emotionally, right? Like it's really hurt you in some way, in a way that I think it's made you more withdrawn. Um, you know, this looks like a bat. I can see a bat tattoo on her, on her, on her arm. And to me, that symbolizes like being alone, wanting to kind of retreat into your cave or something like that. So I see that as coming to an end. And, you know, even with, um, and, and now I just got good juju. So there's some good juju coming up. Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. Maybe this gossip or people talking about you had something to do with something that you were working on, something that you wanted to do. If you look at this woman here, she looks like, you know, she looks like she's doing some sort of ritual. Maybe it's having to do with um, your spirituality that people are talking about or discussing. Um, something that... I think it's really rooted in who you are, you know, um, because he, with the root chakra, I'm getting that it's disturbing your root chakra. What does it say for here? The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well as in the physical world. So, yeah, so I'm definitely getting that whatever these people are talking about you um, is something that you really, really identify with. For yourself and so it probably feels like you know um this sense of like feeling betrayed or not belonging or like there's something fundamentally missing um like 
I don't want to say with you, but either with you or with you belonging with this person or these groups of people, um, or feeling like maybe they have some sort of envy towards you or um, look at you as practicing some sort of evil. I mean, this could be different things um, for different people. And so anyways, I feel that that's coming to an end in here with rest and you know the number seven the number seven um and outrageous openness dear love open me to your will release me from my attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and i am open to receive so yeah i feel like there's some good luck some good juju that's coming in for, for you um after this period of rest after this period of like um this emotional sort of dis disturbance and a period where you're going to start to become um, more confident. I feel like you're going to be a lot more confident with this good luck, with the root chakra um, turning back up, feeling more stable, more grounded, more confident with divine masculine here as well. It's like maybe you're going to start to work on something or something that you wanted to create, the number 222, two, two, like a master builder number here with ambush your fear with ha ambush fear with your ferocious dream is like um yeah, you're gonna you're gonna move into working into action mode, um, and something about you is going to blossom and open up. Like I, I just got this feeling with with this flower. It's like time to bloom, um, and just releasing and walking away from you know these people who have gossiped about you, who've lied on you, who've put you in a, a state where you've had to kind of go into a shell. Like I'm seeing with this tortoise here is like having to retreat and go into a shell and um you know feel less of yourself or feel unstable or unsure or like you don't belong or something like that so so that's what i see coming to an end for you guys is um this feeling of instability um in your root um feeling of not belonging feeling of somebody you know just talking shit about you behind your back um and it really, you know, affecting you and, you know, putting you in a place like maybe for some of you guys, this is a depression um, that kicked in or maybe just a period of having to step away. Like, like that feeling of having to go into the cave, to go to the mountains, having to rest. Um, yeah. And then it's like that's coming to an end and soon you're going to be back out there more open than ever, having good luck be able to uh, go after the things that are important to you um, and then still being able to be I feel like you guys are emotional people I'm getting that with the elephant I'm getting that with this princess of cups um, and uh, but I'm seeing it kind of express itself in a good way like with this good juju card you know like um, it can be very hurtful um, but then there's ways that it can express itself that can be very beneficial and um, something that you can use to create something, right? Like the Page of Cups can be very creative, um, sensitive, all that. So with this Master Builder number and this Divine Masculine, it's like going from a period of retreat into a period of, um, you know, pushing something forward, creating something new, um, building something um, significant. So, so yeah, so that's your reading group one. Um, if you like the reading, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Group two, welcome to your reading. Those of you who picked this Labradorite, this is your reading on what difficulty will soon end for you guys. So um, for you guys, I get a sense that this difficulty is something, um, you know, here we, it's, it's something that's like internal to you. Like it's something that you've been struggling with um on your own with this hermit card um here we have death transmigration we have stretch may you extend your reach um and with these i'm getting and the human gift i'm getting like um a sense of you uh expanding like like i want to say like when i look at when i look at this card right um, you see, it's like just expanding from land to sea. It's like, you know, may you extend your reach. Like, 
getting this sense of like um, an expansion within you in the way that you think um, in the way that you feel and all of this has to do with your sense of faith that's growing um, my happiness can be measured by my level by the level of my faith and love and even with transmigration it's another example of um, like an expansion in limitations or a sense of limitations because I'm thinking about the body and the soul being trapped in the body and death and with transmigration it's like being able to move out of the body um, you know whether it's like reincarnation or um, moving up into wherever you're supposed to go it's like being able to travel being able to so for some of you guys maybe this is a physical thing um, where it has to do with traveling or it has to do with moving. Like I was getting a feeling of moving and movement. Um, so that could be a physical relocation, but it could also be more mental um, and having to do with moving past limitations um, and really expanding your horizon, uh, so to speak. And sort of coming of age for some of you guys as well and getting like a coming of age with this child eternal so I'm taking this card in two ways so child eternal determination to remain young in body mind and spirit ability to see things with fresh eyes and then shadow inability to grow up and be responsible extreme dependency on others for physical security so i'm getting like one is you know kind of going back into what I just said about um, being able to see things in a more limitless way um, due to just having faith like I feel like faith has a big plays a really really big role in this particularly with this, with this human gift card right um, it's like the stronger your faith is the the and wisdom and uh, a sense of like I'm getting like science for some reason, a sense of science and uh, for some reason I'm, I'm thinking of when I think of science, like I'm actually looking at these and thinking about the universe and space and the sense of like um, mystery and limitlessness and um, all this of things like, I don't know, it's just a complete opening up of your mind and uh, your perspective on on what's really possible. Um, it's like going from a very conventional way of thinking, say around medicine, to starting to believe in other forms of cures or things that you can do. It's just a complete like paradigm shift. Um, I think I went off topic a couple times there. I did. Um, yeah, and it's I know, it can also be like a coming of age when I was talking about moving. Um, like I'm and I just keep getting this sense of like migration, transmigration, meditation, um, expansion, limitlessness, reach. Um, maybe there was something that kind of kept you cooped up. Like I'm getting with this no and this queen of cups, um, just this feeling of like and this little angel baby forget what it's called like being cooped up and wanting to come out like maybe there was some shelteredness in in the way um you grew up or um there was some isolation shelteredness in your childhood or um or in your belief system or there was someone like a parent figure or whatever that always spoke like limit on you and anyways, I feel like that's what's coming to an end because it has been a difficulty for you um, or it has been causing a lot of difficulty for you. Um, and, and so that's what's coming to an end. It's like this ability to move, to expand, to grow. Um, and I think that can mean different different things for each one of you viewers. But there's a sense of physical relocation. Um, there's just a sense of... Um, but it goes beyond that so maybe for some of you guys it's a physical movement but for others it's more of a spiritual awakening um, expansion understanding um, maybe some of you guys it's coming through science and learning um, some of you guys it's coming through meditation 
Um, some of you guys, it's coming through faith. Um, but it's just a completely like unlocking of like a fortune. I, f I just, I just feel like I just saw this, you know, leprechaun with this like, you know, uh, what's it called? Like a pot of gold or like there's some pot that's involved um, in that for you. I'm seeing a gift here. So that's the difficulty that will soon come to an end for you. It's this sense of, um, you know, I'm seeing the word no. It's the sense of uh, limitation and feeling stuck and lack or feeling, you know, it's the opposite of what I'm seeing here. So fat, faith, the opposite of faith is fear, um, doubt, um, limitation, um, a sense of being closed off, not having opportunities, you know, here, what does your soul say? So there's so much that's going to come out of this. I feel like you're just at like, um, a stage of just expansion right now. So, so that's the difficulty that will soon come to an end for you. Maybe it's fear, it's doubt, it's lack. Um, it's, um, just a sense of being like closed off or isolated, um, and maybe separate from, I guess the magic that's around you. So, so yeah, it's pretty big. All right, guys, if you like this reading, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye. Group three, those of you who picked this Shungite, here's your reading on what difficulty will soon end for you. So um, we have romance. Um, I don't know, this looks the number two and just the image of this card. You can radically change your results by shifting your beliefs. What belief is limiting you? I'm getting a sense of relationships um, here. Um, and having this difficulty around, I want to say relationships and love. Um, we have fearless love, Oshun, we have Ma'at, giving and receiving, we have regeneration, the sacred flow of yes, we have long Bubby Susie, shame, uh, the magician, the princess of cups and stretch. May you extend your reach. So yeah, so, and, and, and with the Shun guide, I'm, I'm getting this, um, <sighs> this thing of absorbing um, like the frequencies that are harmful to you. So with shame in love, in romance, in relationships, um, I'm just getting that there's going to be uh, a change, a change in you. Um, you know, I'm seeing her covering her breasts in this picture. Like, I don't know, like I'm getting this feeling of um, hiding, like hiding, hiding things. Um, and with regeneration, it, to me, it looks like this orange here, it looks like a volcano had erupted and is, you know, uh, kind of going down the hill and and then there's this tree that's reemerging. So yeah, I just I just feel like there's um what's coming to an end is a sense of shame um that you have with people, romance, relationships. Um and it could be anything like feeling like you may not be good enough, feeling that I don't know, feeling like negative emotions with this shungite. I'm getting like Maybe feeling anger, maybe feeling jealousy, maybe feeling um, like you're not good enough or, or that this person may um, completely, I don't know, end up hurting you because of not being good enough, because there are other maybe better looking, better options out there. Um, you know, it could be any sort of reason, um, but it comes from like a deep rooted sense of shame, right? And, you know, I'm getting that you know, that's going to start to come to an end. Um, and the sacred flow of yes. I just keep getting the number three as well. Like, and just something new is going to be created, um, you know, with giving and receiving, fearless love, like, and just expanding more into that, like being able to give love, to receive love. Um... 
and and maybe a shift in the way that you think and how that can change the outcomes that you have i just see you being more easily in flow like the sacred flow of yes is like i don't know it's like coming out of a shell coming out of a cocoon um being better equipped to deal with romance to deal with love um you know and just kind of like becoming a different a different person like you know with with this card like i'm getting someone who's been on their own for a while or in a cave for a while or who've had to reflect for a while um you know and when i see all these images on the on the stones i'm i'm taking it as things that are imprinted in your psyche or in your belief system um yeah like I, I just feel like there's a lot of work that's been done and the difficulty that is going to come to an end is like around around the things that you have historically felt shame over like there's some way that these things are going to be um absorbed or transmuted um so that you can love more fearlessly so that your ideas about yourself your your beliefs about yourself are different about romance are different about giving love is different receiving love is different um being more i guess in flow um and just having the tools with how to navigate that a bit better especially when with this princess of cups like it could be someone that's very emotional um And I'm also getting like really expanding your horizon around love in the sense of like um, when things do get a little bit heated or emotions do get um, triggered, um, there's an ability to move past it and to work on it and to look at it um, and to observe it and transmute it, you know, you know, with the string guide, I'm getting that. Um, as opposed to like kind of retreating into into like a shame sort of narrative of um, something being wrong with you or or something like that. So so yeah, so that's a pretty big um, change and. Uh, yeah so it's like your difficulties around shame um you know i'm thinking of brene brown i forget what the book was called but it had to do with shame like what what shame does and versus shame versus guilt yeah so guilt is sort of like a feeling of doing something wrong whereas shame is a feeling of you there's something about you that's wrong um yeah so yeah i just i just i just see you moving past um things that you ha had held you in shame like in the past um and really transmuting and regenerating and being able to love more fearless fearlessly and your re relationships um flowing more easily as a result um but I see this as a give and take for going forward, a give and take in the sense of you still will be triggered, um, but that's going to aid you in continuing to grow um, in in your way of being able to love, give and receive love. So yeah, that's your reading group three. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Group four, those of you who picked this septarian stone, this is your reading on what difficulty will soon end for you. Okay, so we have rescuer. We have um, you are good enough. Uh, rescuer provides strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation of reward. We see this person holding like a life um, flotation device. Uh, and like with never ending story in reverse, like I'm getting that, um, you go out on a limb a lot for people and you're like, 
the go-to for certain people who are like in this like endless cycle of um like I want to say drama like you know what I mean just some type of drama I feel like you're like the go-to person and maybe you reap a sense of um value from that with you are good enough um yeah, I feel like there's some association with your value or people see your value and how you come to their aid and how you come to their rescue. But I feel that it's like a difficulty for you in the sense that maybe it's just too much sometimes. Um, yeah, like I see you as a very generous person and um, I just I just heard like, okay, it's time, it's time um, it's time for you to give this a rest. And, um, yeah, and here it's like a rest as well. And are you sleeping? And what else I'm getting from this reading is that there's other work to be done. You have God speaks, you have the three of pentacles and manifesting and doing right here it's like there's some stuff that's going to manifest for you or come into existence around the work that you're supposed to do which involves like some generosity in your part like and when i see generosity i think of like um generosity like you have a generous spirit maybe a healing spirit or there's some work that you do that um is with people where um sort of like in the past how you were there for other people like there is some type of connection with that and what you're going to be doing next in your life you know um, and that's what i'm getting with the circle of life is like all of this is connected right and so part of the reason i i'm seeing that see i'm seeing like time here too it's not even time it looks yeah it is time it's time and direction um i'm just seeing i thought it's like a clock but then it's also direction and stuff like i'm just seeing like i just that just threw me off so the connection that i'm seeing between these is that with god speaks and are you sleeping i'm, I'm getting that you know god is trying to communicate with you through your dreams through your sleeping times through your periods of like when you're resting um yeah, like there's some communication that's coming into you on what you're supposed to work on and what you can do. I feel like it's like it's coming in through your dreams, through your intuition. Um, but if you are caught up in like a drama of playing rescue for someone else, it can be very distracting because it's very it takes a toll on you emotionally you know it's like your body like now i'm seeing an ocean that's um like the tides are very heavy and turbulent it's like you're not going to be able to receive those messages um properly you're just not going to be able to receive them properly because you need a sense of calmness and and um, rest and like serenity and peace and able to to really hear it um because even here with this uh, Three of Pentacles, I'm seeing it as, you know, you being this apprentice and then God being this person that's going to come in and give you this this blueprint or the working papers or whatever it is for you to go ahead and execute on. So again, it's, it's um, the difficulty that's coming or coming to an end has to do with this... Um, I want to say it's like, uh, it's almost like an empath overload I'm getting with this. It's like maybe sometimes um, like you do like to help people out, but maybe it crosses over to being too much or the people become needy or dependent on you or it becomes very one-sided. Um you know what I mean? Um, and so that's like the difficulty um, that's going to come to an end. It's like, or maybe the difficulty is here. It says assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. And so maybe it's this realization that people aren't re reciprocating. There isn't an exchange that's happening. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's, that's what I'm getting with the difficulty that's going to end. Um, and uh you know it's but it's connected it's connected 
um, the difficulty is connected to what you're going to be doing next, right? Because I'm getting a sense that like you're going to be um, helping people out or something. Um, and I don't know, I'm getting this confirmation that you are good enough um, to do what it is that when you do get this rest, when you do balance your your emotional field um, and you start to receive these messages or maybe you have been already um, and while you're dreaming, while you're journaling, while you're resting or meditating or whatever, um, that you are good enough to execute on it. So, um, yeah. And I feel, oh my God. And maybe some of you guys are a bit older. Like, I don't want to say older, but 37, 40. I'm getting these numbers of like, um, like this is your time. Like this is your time with the full moon. I, I'm getting like, um, this is your maturity. This is your time for you to work and do like God's work, you know, or to, to listen and to execute on it. Um, this is like your time. Yeah, this is your time I'm getting. So yeah, so that's your, that's your message group for. Um, I hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, all the best. I will see you guys in the next reading. If you like the reading, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.